What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. So if you guys saw World of Action Wrestlemania 1, uh, this is sort of a behind the scenes look at how it is done. And this is also a behind the scenes of how to make a successful pick fit. So let's just get this started. So there are a lot of steps when making a pick fed and I'm not I'm not really going to put like the steps and all that crap. I'm just going to show you how I do the pick fed and it does work. So yeah, I really got nothing else to say. So let's just get this thing rolling. So one of the first things I like to do when planning a pick fed match, I'm not going to do a show, but um, one of the steps when planning a pick fed match is figure out what figures you are going to use. So I'm not really 100% sure, but I think I'm just gonna, going to do uh, Kenny Omega and AJ as an example. So, I got my Top Talents fix up with the Elite 56 head scan. I love this. Shout out to Wadfigs for doing this. And then Kenny Omega. Uh, I'm not going to use this one because this, this one is all worn out. So, I'll use my uh, G1 Kenny Omega. If I can figure out where my G1 Kenny is. Uh, he's somewhere. Hang on. I found it, it was in there, so, yeah. So I was able to find these two figures, and these are what I'm, or what I'm going to use in a match. So, one of the things that you also got to do when making a pick fed is figuring out how the match is going to go. So, what you are going to need to do is you're going to have to plan out the match. And it will take some time, depending on how you, you want the match to go. If you want it to go long, you got to... Put in a lot of work. If you want it to go a little fast, or a little, yeah, like a little bit faster, then it will take like a whole, like one whole page. But if you want it to be really good, it's going to take like two. So, I really got nothing else to say. But one trick I always love doing when trying to plan out a match is you sort of play with your figures. Only so that way it keeps the motion in your head. So, so like, uh, I want to start off with with like a stare down and all that crap and what you're going to need to do is you don't have to use a ring but since i got something right here uh i'm just going to take these figures and then like not really play but more of try and figure out how the match would go and it's not that hard though so i'm gonna plan out this match right now so about over an hour this took i'm finally done planning the match it was kind of hard though, but afterwards you are going to be left with a pretty good match. So this is only an example. I had, I had already made this and I, it took an hour to make. So pretty much this is what I wanted to do. This was the whole this is the whole concept plan to WrestleMania. Um a lot of them did not get made though. Like there's one where I think Kenny um package pile drives AJ through the announce table and all that crap, but that's all I did, and then because I said I wanted it to be good, I took another page. Okay, this whole thing was WrestleMania right here. Th this is how I came up with WrestleMania One. I got my DIY figures somewhere over there. Uh, Hardys, I think, are somewhere here. But yeah, it doesn't take that much just to plan a pick fed. But if it's like one match, it shouldn't be that hard. But if it's two matches or more, you uh, you are going to. I don't want to say you're going to be screwed, but. It is going to take some time. It's not something that you could just put together. And another thing that you also got to do is when you're filming, have this by you so that way you could see, okay, what do I have to do? What animations do I have to do? How do I want them to look? That's why playing with your figures also helps too. But that's why when I'm using these, I also have two other like decoy figures. That's why I have so many extra AJs. And that's why I have a Kenny Omega over there. So that way I... While, while these ones are in the ring filming, I could have those ones over there sort of doing the moves that I want. So that way it keeps the motion in, uh, I don't want to say motion in motion, but it keeps the motion in my head. So yeah, that is how I create my pick feds. It's not hard. You just need time. You just need patience. If any of you saw the little preview, I'm also going to have AJ Styles take on the Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. And I cannot wait for that match. That will be incredible. I cannot wait to book this match. I'm not sure. AJ, I'm not sure if I'm going to put AJ over or if I'm going to put Okada over. One of them will get put over. I'm not sure who. So, yeah, that's how I plan my pick fits. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this video, and I'll see you guys in the, in the next video.